Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And I have my reveal from my last Pick My Next Whip. And um, remember, there were two of them, and um, both are done. Well, they're as dumb as they're going to get done. So, um, we'll start with the easy one first. And it was in the Dragonfly bag. And that's the one that Devin surprised me with that actually had an unfinished whip in it. And it's finished. So, um, I'll tell you a little bit about the yarn. It is from, um, I got this from Joanne. And it is called KC. It's, I guess it's, it stands for knit and crochet. And the type of yarn was smooth. It's a three weight, I think. Yes, it's a three weight and it's, it's soft. Um, it's definitely something that you can make something to wear against your skin. Um, but it's not heavy. So a little top out of this, I, you know, it would probably be pretty, it would be all right, except it is acrylic. So it would kind of be warm, maybe. I don't know. Um, there are two, uh, 213 yards in each skein. And um, I did not use a lot of the black, but I did use some of the yellow. So both of these are going into my, um, into my scrap, um, bag. So I can use, um, for a different project. I'm sure I can even use these two together again. Um, for something, who knows? Uh, what I made with it though, was actually a scarf and it was made for um, a Zoom Room um, party that we had um, on, I guess it was like Harry Potter Day or something like that, but we all um, found out what house we belonged in and then we made something with our house colors. And I tested into Hufflepuff. So this is what I had on hand um, to use. None, they're not exact colors, but hey, you know, it worked. And um, I can donate this to a child because it is a child size scarf. So um, some lucky child will get this in a donation bin or in the donation, I'm putting it in the donation bin after I wash it. So. This whip is done. This bag is going into the washing machine and it will be put back up on the shelf uh, for Devin to grab some more, you know, not like I don't have enough to pick through, um, but so he can grab some more to stick up there. All right, so um, it is a three weight. Um, I'm not sure what other colors it came in, but these for some reason, I just happened to buy these two colors, and it was the two colors that I needed. I think I might have been going to do a bumblebee something or another. So, this project is done. Okay, the second project um, was in the, the boobs bag. Here we go. So, there's Larry. And he shaved himself and he found that he had some boobs. Okay. And in the boobs bag was this yarn right here. It is, um, I got this from Hirschner's. I'm almost positive. Maybe not Hirschner's. Um, what's the one that shares... Let me see. 
not willow yarns, but um, the one that goes with it. Which company is that? Um, I pulled up willow yarns, but, well, I don't know where it came from. It came from somewhere. <laughs> I think it came from like the the site that has willow yarns with it. And maybe that is Hershner's. I'm not sure. Um but it's the yarn is Knob Hill and the type of yarn I used is Cat's Meow and the color I used is Calico. Uh it's a 50% wool, 50% acrylic and it's a uh, light three, um, three and a half ounces and 207 yards. Um, while I was organizing my yarn in the garage today, I did find that I had two more of these and, um, I don't, I don't like it. It's scratchy to me. Um, so the other two that I have, um, I'm going to be making things for um, the cats to play with. Uh, I think that would probably be my best bet for this because I am not a fan of the yarn. It is scratchy to me. So, um, cat quality yarn. That's how I'm gauging it at. Uh, yeah, good for persifers. Okay, now, speaking of Persephone, um, this, besides this being a Pick My Next Whip, this is also one of my Make 9 slash 10. I'm not sure how many I have completed, um, but I will put it up in the description box along with the pattern that I used. Um, so this is called a cat flat toy. And, um, this is flat Persephone, you know, flat Stanley. Well, this is flat Persephone. Um, and she's so flat that her tail fell off. So, um, she has two arms and two legs, and she's a Manx cat now because she doesn't have a tail. Um, and I used just some scrap white yarn. Um, it came in one of the Yarnspirations mystery bags. Uh, so this is where that came from. And um, yeah, so this is Flat Persephone. And I will spray some uh, catnip spray on it so um, she gets to like flat Persephone. And I had some extra yarn left over, so I thought that I would make her some, um, you know, she needs to dress up every now and again. So um, that's the turkeys. I made her a collar with a flower on it. So I have that for her. Um, she has a bow tie. Um, this one is actually kind of big, so this one might be for Mythos. This one is really, really big on her. Uh, I made her a little headscarf, or it could be a kerchief for her neck. Yep. She is sleeping up, upstairs, up on the top shelf up here, so I'm not going to disturb her. And um, then I made uh, just a little collar like that for her, or a necklace. It's a necklace for the baby girls. All righty, so that's it. Um, we'll have a new Pick My Next Whip very soon, and... Um, We'll see what we can uh, get out of, or what yarn we get out of that. 
this bag is going in the wash and will be put back up on the shelf. So we may see it again soon. I don't know. Devin will grab some, some of these up here and we will do another pick my next whip soon. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.